Finally, Jesus says in your Bible, of myself, I can do nothing. Okay. So how Beautiful. can you believe in your theology okay. these contradicted claims that God is all-powerful and yet Jesus can yeah. do nothing so. of his own power? Yeah, beautiful. So how do you reckon? It's not beautiful. Yeah. It's a problem. It's a problem for your theology. Yes. Okay. You so, can't have your so cake and eat it. So you see it. how he so how interrupts me. I want to answer. Please Let answer. Okay, please so give answer. me two minutes. Hold on, you're interrupting please, please me. Answer. So give please me two minutes. Give me two minutes Jesus to... Re hold on. Give me two minutes to respond. Give me two minutes to respond. Do you want me to time your speech and then time his speech? Not really. Not really. Oh, really. I love your head thing. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, Paul, Paul. 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 Okay, so the, the, the I just need him to address me to this is you guys keep talking over each other. I just need him to address the question. So I'm going to address the question. Please address Bring two points to the question Please and what the verse proves. Please okay. So point one, myself, I can point do nothing, one, the God. Trinitarian model posits one will, one energy, three persons. The person of Christ possesses the one will of the Father, the one will of the Trinity. Point two, if the person of Christ can only do of the Father's will, this demonstrates his divinity. Why? No, I, hold on, hold on. It. You are interrupting it. me. Because what did I initially say to you? The three persons of the Trinity possess the one mind. No possess the one mill. Okay. No so he's in you see how no I say I want to pose two points and he interrupts me. No so point one, there is one will, one energy, three persons in the Trinity. Point two. We understand you are interrupting me. Are you interrupting me? Point two, if a person says he only does the will of the Father, this necessitates that he can do divine actions. Can you, Paul Williams, I am now challenging you, to say that you only do what Allah does? Right. So coming back to my question, you've admitted, you, believe, you agree with Islam, your beliefs are Islamic, when you assert rightly, as Muslims do too, that God is all-powerful, he's not constrained, he is sovereign, he is the creator of the heavens and the earth. You've also admitted that Jesus said, according to your book, uh, of myself, I can do nothing. Besides now, from the Father's th th Therefore, we, it is a child can see that Jesus cannot be God, but also it's an additional problem. Jesus denied he was God in uh, Mark chapter 10, verse 17. Oh, really? A man came to Jesus Stop and said, what? Good teacher, what must uh, I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, why do you call me good? There is no one good but God alone. So what does... So in, no, yeah. Excuse me, I'm finished. So Jesus denied he was divine. Now, he may, he may have even denied he was good. Why would he do that? As a humble Jew, as a humble Jewish prophet... Yeah, I know. Goodness really is an attribute of God. Yes. And Jesus was being humble. Yes. Unlike some other people. Yes. But here is not God. If he was God, he would say, Yes, of course I'm good. I am the Almighty God. He said, No, no, no. I am not good. I am not only God is truly good. Yes. So and, and beautiful. of myself I can do nothing. So on the there are many other verses yes. I can bring you. For example, in Acts chapter two, so verse twenty. Can we bring one point? Uh, let me yeah. finish this. Mir Jesus did miracles. Does this mean Jesus is divine? Okay. Yes, you would say. I say no, no. Okay. because Peter in Acts 2.22 says, Israelites, listen to this. Jesus was a man through whom God did signs and wonders amongst you, as you yourselves know. Peter, after Jesus ascended into heaven, proclaimed that Jesus was just a man and that God did miracles through him. That's why Jesus did miracles, by the power of God. And the Quran actually affirms and agrees with that. The Quran reports Jesus saying, I am not God, I am just a human being, a messenger of God. And the, the miracles he did are by the mercy and permission of God alone. So, yeah, okay, so are you, do you agree with Islam when it says Jesus was just a man? And like Peter said, and like Jesus himself said in Mark chapter 10, verse 17. Can you address those okay. issues, please? So, there's, there's one point. So see how we refuse to engage with my initial point. I asked the sir Can you address to... My I am addressing his point. You're not, Listen, you're not addressing oh, Hold on. Mark Paul, chapter 10, I, yes, verse 17. Yes, yes, I'm going to address that in my please. second point. Please. But you see, when you give me several points, I have to refute them one at a time. Please because I am not the all-knowing God, and I cannot refute a point in one sentence. So do not interrupt me and allow me to speak. 
because not only did you bring up more than one passage, I'm going to bring up more passages and also refute yours. Then we're going to go back to the question. Oh, hold on, hold on. Paul, oh, you are interrupting me. Interrupt me again. Paul, oh, if you interrupt me again. Yeah, so we're going to have this time. Paul, oh, yeah, so we're going to have this time. Why are you me Paul, 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 so we're going to time this. How do you respond to that? Paul, so we're going to time this two minutes. Can you answer the question? In two minutes and you're not going to interrupt me. Because if you interrupt me, I'm going to speak over you. Why not address the question? I'm going to address the question. Paul, Paul, please address the question. I'm going to address this question. I am going to... Okay. Okay, all right, ready? Jesus said, why do you call me good? Okay, so he's interrupting my time. Is he interrupting my time? He's interrupting my time. Okay, so do not interrupt me. I have my time. Point one. Mark says, in Mark, it says that you should follow God because only God is good. Then he lists the commandments that the man is following. Why do you but he good? does not name the commandment of following God. You he shall does, follow no God before me. He says you're not following this commandment. You're lacking in one thing after listing all the commandments he kept. But I challenge you in that passage, where does it say the person is following God? This is a very rhetorical force. Only God is good. You should follow me, sell all your stuff, because you're lacking in one thing. You're lacking in following God. Yes, yeah. So a rhetorical force. So you're interrupting me now. So when you are speaking, I am going to interrupt him now. I will give him an example. Let's say I go up to a Muslim. Muslim, you're a good follower of Muhammad. And he says, why do you call me a good follower of Muhammad? Only Muslims follow Muhammad. This is of a rhetorical force. Then Jesus goes on to list all the commandments that the gentleman is following, not mentioning the commandment of following God. Then he says, you're lacking in one thing. Sell all your things and follow me. This is of a rhetorical force to follow Christ as God. Point two, we find in Luke chapter 6, verse 46, he uses the double vocative, kulios kulios, which from the Greek Soturgeon means Adonai Yahweh. He calls himself God. This is a clear passage indicating the de deity of Christ. Acts 2.22. So we understand the nature of Christ is an energetic manifestation. The person of Christ adopts a human nature and through this, his crucifixion and the reestablishment of his human nature with Christ. Now, I want to pose the question that he refused to respond to. I uh, Hold on, I still have my time. Paul, Paul I ask you to say that you only do Allah's, what Allah does. Do you do the will of Allah? Do you do everything that Allah does? Because if you did, this would necessitate that you created the universe, that you created yourself. So, coming, coming back to these passages in Mark 10, you can follow it in your Bibles, verse 17 onwards. A man comes to Jesus, this is almost a verbatim quote. Good teacher, he says to Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? There's no one good, but God. but God alone. So he denies his divinity. And then he says, obey these commandments. And he lifts five of them um, and so on. The man uh, rejects his teaching and goes away sad. But here we have Jesus denying he is God. In Acts 2.22, why does Acts 2.22 matter? Because this gentleman, this Christian believes that Jesus is God because he did miracles. What does Peter say? He no, spent several years with Jesus. What does he say after Jesus left the scene and ascended into heaven? He said this in this great sermon to the Israelites in Acts 2.22. Oh, Israelites, listen to this. Jesus was just a man through whom God did signs and wonders amongst you, as you yourselves know. Now, if Peter didn't get it after spending years with Jesus, what's the chance of this guy here, 2,000 years later at Speaker's Corner, correctly understanding Jesus? He never met Jesus. Peter spent years with him. He was taught by Jesus. And Peter says, Jesus was just a man. Look it up in Acts 2, 20. this is after Jesus ascended yeah. into heaven. So I think both the people who knew Jesus and logic, why do you call me good, suggest that you're wrong, sir. Come to Islam, follow the truth about Jesus. What do we believe about Jesus? Muslims believe that Jesus was just a man, like Peter says, that he was a Messiah, just like Peter says, that he was sent only to the Jews, like Jesus said in Matthew. I'm only sent, said Jesus, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Are you a Jew? Yes. Are you a Jew? Yes. Okay, well he's sent for you, but he's not sent for the rest of us. He's not sent for me. He's not sent to Gentiles. 99%, 90, 95% of the people on the planet 
three, have not been one, sent. Two, yeah, Mohammed upon who BP. Time, time finished. Said, Paul, said, Paul, Paul you've had your two minutes. Paul, Paul, you've had your two minutes. Paul, you've had your two minutes. Mr. Paul, Paul Williams, you've had your time. I know you like speaking to young boys, but relax. Okay. Okay. So. 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 Paul, notice how we've given him two minutes to speak and now he's interrupting me. So now I'm going to give the courtesy back. I'm going to interrupt him. Point one, I refuted Mark. He lists all the commandments besides from following no God besides me. Then he says, sell all your things and follow me. Only God is good is of a rhetorical force. I've already given you an analogy to demonstrate that. Now, I gave him two challenges. I said, could you say you do only what Allah does? He didn't answer. I refuted Mark. He did not respond. And you understand that Acts, what is Acts quoting from? What is Peter quoting from in Acts? I ask you this question as well. Now, I'm going to give him new scripture. I'm going to give him the double vocative found in Luke chapter 6 verse 46, calling himself Adonai Yahweh. And then I challenge you to call Muhammad Adonai Yahweh, because Jesus in Luke chapter 6 verse 46 calls himself Adonai Yahweh. I refute Mark, I question Acts, and I give him a new passage. Yes, so he lists. Your okay, so I challenge you. An easy refute, yeah, I, 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 your interpretation. So I challenge you. So I challenge you. Using his own Bible okay, now. so he's interrupting me. So next time, I don't like when he says something in his time, I'm going to interrupt him. So hold on. Okay, so he lists. Okay, okay. So well, let's pause the time. So Jesus lists the commandments but does not list or scribe the commandment of following God to the person in question. The statement only God is good is of a rhetorical force. And then he, what does he advise him to do? Sell all your stuff, follow me. Actually emphasizing the caveat of the rhetorical question that if you believe I'm good, if you believe I'm God, you should follow me. So I've given you Adonai Yahweh, he is God. I've demonstrated how Mark could be interpreted and is more likely interpreted in a rhetorical force. And I'm asking you in Acts, what is Peter quoting from? Right, so we have, he hasn't actually addressed any of the issues I made. In Peter, in the first sermon to the Israelites, clearly states Jesus was just a man through whom did God miracles. He, he doesn't like that, he ignores it. Mark chapter 10, he refutes Mark, he says, when he thinks he has, but Jesus in Mark denies he is divine, as he does deny he's divine in other places as well. That's not what I said. At the beginning of Mark's gospel, the said. gospel you don't like very much because you want to refute it, yep. it says, before dawn, Fajr, basically, Muslims will recognize this, Jesus went out before, it, whilst it was still dark, and prayed to God. It actually says that in the gospel of Mark. Now, in your beliefs, Jesus was God himself. But no, 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 according to your earliest gospel, Jesus was a prophet, a humble rabbi, a teacher, a messiah, who got up and prayed Fajr like Muslims do and prayed to God. This man cannot be God, not only logically, but historically, because he went out to pray. If he was God, do you believe God prays to himself? Do you believe God denies yeah. he is divine? Do you believe God has to have someone else do miracles through him? Of course not. If you believe in one God, you must become a Muslim. Leave your Christian access behind. Yeah. Embrace Islam. And lastly, you didn't address this, in Matthew 15, Jesus, uh, according to Matthew, says some quite racist remarks. He calls a non-Jew a dog. He actually says it in Matthew 15. I'm not saying Jesus really said this. We know the scriptures have been corrupted as Muslims. We believe this. The Quran teaches this. But Jesus calls a woman a dog because she's not a Jew and says to her, I'm only sent yeah, to the Jews. I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So those of us who are Gentiles, virtually everyone here, He's not sent for us. Who is sent for us? Has God left us without garments? No. He sent all the prophets, including Muhammad, upon whom be peace. We must follow Muhammad if we want to follow Jesus and Moses and Zechariah and Joel and Jeremiah and Isaiah and all the prophets. Okay, so we must time, all time, of them, pull, pull, not your religion. Pull. Okay, okay, beautiful. So coming back yeah. to my passage. No, so, okay, beautiful. So what is Acts quoting from? I'm asking you a question. 
what? What, what, what? The passage in Acts, what is it quoting from? What's it saying? Jesus was just no. a man. Hold on, hold on. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. I am asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking a clarifying question. What to call a, a clarifying question in terms of a debate is whereby I clarify a passage to which you've presented to me. So let's see how good your Bible knowledge is. What no, no, is he no. quoting? I'm not playing your game. Address the question. Okay. Peter says to the Israelites, okay. Jesus so is Peter a man, is quoting. And you believe that he is yeah. God. I stand with Peter. You stand with Shaitan, who makes a God out of a human yeah. being. No, I'm bringing. Not read that. Imagine. Yeah. We That's not, not how. Follow yeah. I'm not shaking. Yeah. So, but this was uttered through the prophet Job. No, it's not. Yeah, this is a quote. No, it's not a quote. That's a different passage. Wait, read it. Acts 2. Wait, read, what read is the nomination? Wait, oh, right, right, let's, right, let's read right, Acts 2. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. no. Read. Oh, no, no, so no, now no, he no, wants no, to no, cherry no, pick. No. Now he wants to cherry pick and deny the nermeneutics and the holistic read, reading of read the Bible. Well, I want to read Acts 2.16. No, he wants to go to 22. Yes, Acts 2.22. But what does it say? It's a quote. It is not saying that it is an agent that Jesus is committing miracles, nor did I say that Jesus is God by the virtue of miracles. I never said that. I said you that said Jesus God is God. No, They're when did I say that? God. When did I say that? Did I say that, ago, sir? About you, before you came. Before you so, came. Paul, you read, Paul, read the quote. Read the quote, Paul. Right, Ooh. I will. I now have uh, the Bible here. But this was uttered it's through the book of Job. Me, and the last day shall be, God's declared, I will pour it. my spirit on all of the flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall... Right, let me read the passage. Here it is. These are the words of Peter. Do you agree with them? You who are Israelites, hear these words. And you, you hear these words. Jesus a Nazarene was just a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders and signs which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. Everyone knows Jesus was just a man. But you, uh, sir, 2,000 years God later, think you know better than Peter. You know better than those who knew Jesus. This was after the ascension. Peter spent years with Jesus, and he knows that Peter, Jesus, was just a man. Okay. Your own words condemn so, you, sir. So, congratulations, you've disproved. You so, congratulations, you've disproved. Paul, Paul, speak to me. Paul. Mr. Paul, sir, I know you like oh, men. Sir. Oh, yeah. Sir, yeah, yeah, I know you like men. Okay, so. What is your name? Uh, yeah, Junior. Okay. So, junior? Yeah, Junior. That's not what you said last time. Yeah, yeah, it's Junior. No, so, it's not your real okay, name. So, notice how you won't give okay. me his name. Okay, so notice if he starts talking about me, I'm going to talk to him about his private life. Because we all know Paul's private life is a bit equivalent. We know it's full of controversy. So, yes, okay. So, stick to the Quran and stick to the Bible. So hold on. So let's see why does the prophecy say that God will rise up the spirit and this is say this this Jesus God will rise up. He's actually replacing God in the te in the prophecy with Jesus proving Christ's divinity. Now, do you agree with Peter hold on, hold on, hold on, sir, sir, in you are inter you are interrupting me. You are interrupting you never me. Never Because because you see, what's your name by the way? Junior. It's not your name. It's it is. You're lying. Okay, so Paul. Are you do you swear before God on the Bible that you're I can't make. I can't swear. Ah, oh, he won't swear. That that's I his can't name. swear because he's deceiving you. That's I not his name. I can't swear. I can't swear. His name matter. Well, what because they say because that. it's courtesy. He, but, he's but surely, surely, what he says matters more than who he is. Mr. Paul, I know you like the person. Personal information of young boys, but that's that's besides from the point. It's besides from the point that you like the information of young boys. No, no, if you're if you're going yeah. to get so, lies Paul, and you're going to do Paul Williams. Paul, what, I know why, you why like Paul. I am, but it seems like you're more. It, it seems like Paul is more interested than my private life. We know this because of his history with men. Now. Do you understand? No, I, this is no, 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 okay. So there. you you understand that you there. talk about private life. I talk about yours. I your name. Okay. So that's you private. Consider your, that your private life. Yeah. In the in the corner. Yes. Okay. So, so this Acts 2, Jesus, Jesus God raised Jesus up. God. Yes. So read that. Word miracles. Read it. Read it. Jesus. Sir, read the passage. Okay. This Jesus God raised up. And in the prophecy... Okay, I will read it, I will read it. This Jesus, God's raised up, and of that we are witnesses, 
being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, okay, yes. and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this yes. that you yourselves are seeing and hearing. Now notice this. Jesus is not God in this passage. He sits at the right hand of God. Wait, who who now pours out the Holy Spirit? You, you Paul, believe, Paul, I know Paul, this. Paul. You, Mr. Paul. you believe in the Trinity, don't you? Yeah. So the Father is God, the Son is yeah. God, the Holy Spirit is God. But this passage contradicts your belief. It says that Jesus was at the right hand of God, not God himself. If you're the right hand of something, you are not the yeah, thing so that you, you are you notice right how I asked you a question. So the point is, yeah. this passage so, Mr. Paul, Paul, Paul. argument. briefly like yeah. explain a few things, right? So, I think with this passage being said, right, in the noun God can either refer to the divine essence or any of the Trinitarian persons. So when it says that Jesus is at the right hand of God, that's obviously being predicated of the Father. Which is why the first line of the Nicene Creed is we believe in one God, the Father Almighty. That's not to the exclusion of the other persons, it's just denoting that the noun can either pick up person or essence. God's not local. But what you read there is saying that the, the Son is the one who pulls out the Holy Spirit. Now, the point that he was trying to make to you earlier is that in the prophecy which Peter quotes from, oh, yeah. it says that according to the prophet Joel, God declares that he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. Yeah. But according to Peter, Jesus is the one who's pouring out the spirit, which according to Peter would make Jesus God. No, no, I don't agree with that at all. Okay, I, okay why? Jesus didn't believe he was God. Well, because as we said, as we said, uh, according to that uh, passage, Jesus is at the right hand of something else. That something else is God. So Jesus is not identified is God with God. No, hang on. Yeah. This is an important distinction. Because if Jesus is a separate being from God in that passage, and yet you believe in the Trinity, which identifies I, I him as God. A separate being. And I you, me you mentioned, you mentioned, no, no, it does. And Nicaea, it says, the son is homoousion with the father of the same what, being, the same What's the first line of the Nicaea? I believe in God the Father. One God the Father, yeah, right? Yeah. So, the, so you acknowledge that the word God can function as a noun in Trinitarian theology, which either points out the Trinitarian person mm. or the essence. So when it says that the Son is at the right-hand side of the Father, in Trinitarian theology, that's just denoting a distinction of hypostasis, not being. Uh, no, that's what you're, you're using is much later uh, theology, which is not found in the New Testament. But you're, you're trying to what, say what, that the text what I'm is saying is in, inconsistent. No, let me explain. No, no. You're, 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 you're reading stuff into the text that's not there if you read all of acts jesus is always separate from but, god so why did he you is someone who so people say to god, separate from god on, let, me, let me explain let me explain no no let me explain in that because, very because with all due respect I with, with all due respect, with all due respect why let me explain when peter, peter says in that god, very passage even though he says when peter god says out the spirit, when peter says in that very passage that, that Jesus was just a man through whom God worked signs and wonders. You ignore that. Jesus is not God. He is separate from God, one to whom Jesus has things done to him. Like the miracles are done through him, but you ignore that. And then when he's at the right hand of God, oh no, that that, that you use later theology, which is not found in the in that uh, just passage at all. In the world. To, to use, I, I think Unitarianism so, is later theology. Yeah. Just to, to no, I, I think I think Peter is a Unitarian, I, no, I, I, and I Jesus was a Unitarian. He, he, okay, firstly, and all the apostles if Peter were was Unitarian. A Unitarian he wouldn't say God pours out his spirit and then identify Jesus as the fulfillment of that prophecy in being the one. What do you make of Acts 222? I make out of it that Jesus is identifying that Peter is identifying yeah. Christ as God and the one well, divine. Yeah, will how, is let's, let's go to Acts 222. Let's look at this. Wait, wait, passage. wait, but I did ask you a question. No, no, I'm asking this. you a question. Wait, wait, now. I, 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 I you, you've you asked me questions, first. I've answered. Wait, wait, but you're yet I'm to asking you about Acts 220 now. Yeah, yeah, yes, but we're speaking about the context. I'm asking you about Acts 222. You're yet to address the context I brought up. I want to ask you. I want you to address if, if my question. Says, in Acts 2, 22, spirit, where, G where God is works miracles through Jesus, Jesus the who's, who's just a man, how do you explain the that as a Trinitarian? Who is the passage how do you explain that? Jesus as? How do you explain that? Where okay. Jesus already, is a man. I already explained to you that Jesus, according to Trinitarians, no, 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 is a man to Peter. because of the doctrine no, no. of the high-static You're using union. your theology, However, which Peter doesn't have. You're simply poisoning the world. You're poisoning. Just, just you're, 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 you're being context, anachronistic. You're the, being anachronistic. The context identifies him as God. No, it and doesn't. And what you're not it doing doesn't. is identifying You can't identifying assume the premise the in your conclusion. Okay, so when oh, he Peter okay. quotes from Joel and says that Joel says that God will pour out his spirit, and then he identifies Christ as the one who's pouring out his spirit. Yeah. Who is he identifying? It, it, Christ it, it, as? It, it, 
Jesus in that passage is God's eschatological agent. He's clearly stated in other passages in, in that chapter that Jesus is just a man. But you see, notice, let me, look at it this way. You believe that only God can judge the world, that only on the day of judgment, yeah? That it's not, and no human being can judge the world. Only God is the judge on the day of judgment. You believe that, yeah? Yes yeah, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Yes, right. You said yeah. Do you believe that too? Only God can judge the world on the day of judgment. Yes. You believe that. But your Bible, your, your, your book of Acts says something different. He says, God will judge the world through this man, Jesus. God is very different from Jesus. He's just a man. So God will use it. So God uses well, yeah, Jesus God according to Acts, which is a Christian text. I'm not saying I agree with it, but we've already explained. <laughs> but Jesus is a man through whom God does things. He works miracles. He judges the world. He sends the, uh, the Holy Spirit. But he's just a man. So your Christology is all wrong. Your Trinitarianism is all false. It's not what the passage is saying. Okay, so agency doesn't Were you aware work that as the fulfillment. Yep. Agency doesn't Are you aware work that passage as just the fulfillment of That God prophecy, judges the world through the man Jesus. Jesus. You understand that he's trying to respond, so just yeah, let him respond. Are, are, are you aware that passage? Are you aware that passage? As just a fulfillment of prophecy, which is why in Revelations 19, we see that the agent, uh, the angel of God, uh, the angel in uh, Revelations is worshipped by John, but he refuses it, right? Showing that angels can't, agents can't accept this type of gratitude which Christ is receiving, obviously in Acts chapter 2 and Acts chapter 20, verse 28. So are you but according Acts, to the so context you see how you're here, him. Jesus is yeah, I am, God. Because he interrupts me. Now, when you, you look at, now what you you're trying to demonstrate, yeah, what, you're, what you're trying you to demonstrate, yes, what you're anyway, trying to demonstrate yeah, yeah, yeah. is that the text is internally inconsistent from a Trinitarian presupposition. But in order to do that, what you are doing is you are throwing out Trinitarian presuppositions in order to make your case. If you want to There's internally no critique the, Bible, the Trinity, no Trinity, yeah, of Bible. course, in John yeah, chapter 16, the Trinity is There's there no present. Trini no, there in John chapter no 16, Trinity anywhere in the yes, Bible, of course, this there is something is. you import, impose. The on Trinity the Bible. is a hermeneutical and, principle yeah, yeah, which we read throughout the so entirety of Scripture. Are you aware For example, in, in, in John chapter uh, 16, well, he's not when Jesus anymore. gives yeah. so, no. knowledge to the Holy Spirit, knowledge is identified with the divine nature. So you see how, when you go over your time that you were given, and you were preaching to me, and I was complaining, and now. Thomas is actually being Thomas. courtous. Oh, are you sure that you want to disclose his private information? He calls himself Thomas Apologia, oh, you know. Yeah, so Thomas, okay. But I personally don't want to know I'm my name. You to call me Thomas or anything. Okay. Yeah. So what, who uh, I am doesn't matter. He wouldn't answer my, my question. Is are you, you are aware yeah. that yeah. in yeah. Acts God judges the world Can you, by the man? Yes, yeah, so Paul. Jesus, so yeah? just a quick confirmation. Okay. Yes, yeah, so Paul. So just a quick confirmation. Can no, you repeat can, the? Can, can, hold you, can you quickly Paul, confirm? Mr. Paul, Mr. Mr. Paul, can you please confirm what Thomas has said in his rebuttal to your point? Yeah, he was refusing to answer my point in I acts i asked him this question him. so it I says that god will judge the agents. world through the man Jesus. can you identify yeah. what something I, I, isn't I, I, when you I, don't I, even I, listen are you aware this is the case so this refused trinitarianism agents. why mr paul because in trinitarianism mr paul god will judge paul williams the world, god please the world mr paul mr paul paul jesus paul paul even in john mr paul mr paul mr paul Williams. And because neither of you yeah. are listening Jesus anymore, the, yeah. I think we should the end reason, the conversation. The why Jesus so says thank you very much for your time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I hope next time you'll So can I ask a question about Taweed? Because I initially came here. Did I not come here to ask about Taweed? No, you, you, you asked me if God uh, was all powerful. No, so I asked you. Yeah, so I initially asked you, is Allah's attributes and necessary? You and you if agreed. You your God says, of my own, I can do nothing. Your God is weak. Yeah. You can't so I did challenge you initially. Did I not challenge you? Wait, Paul Williams, just quickly. Uh, do you do everything that Allah does? Williams, uh, comment. According, according to John chapter 5, verse 19, everything the Father does, the Son does. Gone. Exactly. So can you say that? Thank you. No, because the context of John chapter 5 proves Jesus is God and that Paul Williams is alive. I want to be like this man, he's way so smarter than me. He ran away from Acts chapter 2, and the reason why Acts chapter 2 doesn't prove that Jesus isn't God is because in Acts chapter 2, yes, it identifies him as a man, but Trinitarians have always said that Jesus is a man because of the doctrine of the hypostatic union. He's fully man fully God but he keeps appealing to Peter and he says Peter spent a whole lot of more time with Jesus than you he did more than you as well Paul Williams which is why Peter quotes from Joel and he quotes where Joel says God will pour out his spirit and then later on Peter says Jesus pours out the Holy Spirit on the disciples at 
Pentecost, meaning according to Peter, Jesus is God. With John chapter 5, if you read the entirety of it, the reason why Jesus says, I do nothing of my own accord, is because he's saying he isn't a separate renegade God with a separate will from the Father. Because everything the Father does, the Son does likewise, which is what verse 19 actually says. But no one who isn't God could do everything that God does, which actually shows, according to the context, that Jesus is God. Furthermore, in verse 23, Jesus says that whatever honour you give to oh, the, and the Father, camera at the end. you should also give to the Son. Now, I can honour my parents, but can I honour them to the same degree as I honour God? Of course not because if I did, I would worship my parents. But Jesus in the very same chapter says that you should honor him with the same degree that you honor the Father, proving that the Son is God. Notice that every single passage that Paul Williams appealed to shows that Jesus is God, and then he ran away from the discussion because he didn't actually want to deal with me. His point about agency got refuted. His point about Acts chapter two got refuted. You beautifully refuted his point about Mark chapter 10 because Jesus doesn't mention the first commandment, which is that you should follow after the God with all your heart, mind and soul. And the reason why he doesn't quote that is because at the end of the passage, he says, you lack one thing, sell all your possessions and follow who? Me, Me. Who's God? which is a reiteration of the first commandment that he should be following in Jesus Christ. Again, proving Jesus is God. That's one, two, three passages that he brought forward, three refuted and three that prove that Jesus is God. Paul Williams is a liar. And I, I just want to say, Mr. Paul, I have came to you twice in the park asking about Taweed, and every single time I ask clarifying questions, the person derails the conversation to the Trinity. You, you want to talk about Taweed? Yeah. Well, how can Jesus be God when he's... Exactly. <laughs> so I challenge him to talk about Taweed and nothing but Taweed. And again, I apologize if the statement about Paul Williams' private life was a bit on the nose. But you see, he seems to have a lot of interest in me. So I think he's following the tendencies that he did when he left Islam. I, I think that's a wrap up to be fair. Okay, I, I don't know which cameras I'm speaking to now, but um, yeah. uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Thomas Apologia. With that being said, do you have a channel by the way? Uh, yeah, at uh, Young Bob Apologia. Young Bob Apologia. With that being said, God bless you all. God bless. Yeah.